Alright guys, it's been a while since I've made a video about my HP laptop here. Uh, my original one was about how to update the RAM. As you can see, I still have my two separate RAM sticks in there. That's great. Now, today, I have the battery out. And I want to show you... Um, do you see those gold prongs right there? Okay. You see here? That's where it goes, okay? And what all it was, it sits in there, okay? There's going to be four screws. I know this video isn't as comprehensive as the other one, but it's going to be one there, one there, one there, and they're little tiny black screws, tiny, okay? And so when you're looking at your battery, it's going to be, I'm not going to set it in there because I have this out for a reason, which I'll explain here in a minute. Um, it'll be sitting in there just like that. So you unscrew the screws and then pull it towards you, okay? If this is facing away from you, pull it towards you so that unplugs. Don't try and crank up on it. Uh, it looks like it will come out that way too, but I know for sure I pulled it this way and it came right out, you know, and it was like, uh, what do I have here? One, two, three, four screws. So I'm doing this on my bed. It's all unprofessional. It's just, I'm just a private owner, not a computer shop. Um, I am, however, a computer student in college. Anyways, um, so my issue was here, I upgraded to Windows 11 with this laptop and it worked you know it said it all you know everything was great uh the same laptop like i said i did that i'm gonna put the model number in here same hp scarlet red laptop okay um so uh what happened was though i did an update a few days later because windows 11 did work worked perfectly no problems uh, an update came it shut my computer down and now will not reboot and almost an hour later, it finally a little screen came up said flashing BIOS. Okay, I understand what the BIOS is and such. Uh, I looked up about pressing the Windows uh, B key and um, another combination of keys to try and get the BIOS to reset. No such luck. Um, so the other option the HP had said was to take out the battery for a couple hours, which I totally don't understand. Uh, should be about you know 10 minutes or uh, a minute or so even a few minutes and any residual power in here should drain and everything should reset anyways but anyways okay while i have this open um and so you know i don't know i'll, I'll try I'll, I'll do an update or maybe put it in the comments or something how i resolved the windows update issue in case you guys have a problem with it but i've had a lot of questions about the ssd this is the ssd drive here in the scarlet red windows okay and it's fairly self-explanatory I have never taken it out but I'm gonna take it out right now my computer at this point won't even turn on like I said due to the windows update I didn't do anything to it it shut itself off when I did the update and when I went to turn it back on it didn't do anything so you guys see I just took out that little screw right there okay be sure you put these somewhere well, you're not going to lose them, okay? It's black on a white surface there, and I'm, nobody's bouncing around here, so I'll, it'll be fine. So I do believe you just pick up on this. It looks like plug and play, okay? And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sure enough, look at that. There's your SD card. Get you a replacement. I don't know the model numbers. This is a 128 gig uh, SSD card. But if you if they have a replacement, this is how you would change it. It is that simple i almost i mean I, I don't mean to degrade anybody i i totally understand especially if you don't know anything about computers but this is how simple it is and i can already tell you right now i can feel it when i plug this in it feels like it naturally wants to go under the slot but i could feel it went in too far something's not right and if i look in there i can see the slot let's see can you see that i know my camera's not that focused sorry guys can you see the slot you know, almost looks like a, uh, let's see if I can get it to, see, I wanted to go under it, but you got to go up a little and into the slot here, okay? And gently, okay, and on anything you do in these computers with these little cards and such, uh, my computer wants to slide a little bit, gently and wiggle a little, gently, there, and I can feel it, it went in, and I can tell right now that should go over you're screwed, and if it's hitting the top and not letting it go down, you're not in far enough. I can tell you that right now. And so that is how you would change your SSD card, and it is that simple. One little screw, unplug it, plug the new one in, put your new screw in. 
If it doesn't fit, I can tell you right now you don't have the right uh, SD card. But I will do an up update here. Um, let this battery sit out for a couple hours, see what's uh, going on, because I have an assignment due. I do have an old dinosaur computer I can use if I have to. But I really like this little computer for my schoolwork. <laughs> so, alright guys, have a good day. I hope this answered your questions about how to uh, uninstall your SSD card. And have a great day.